Hello, everybody. In the series of up, uh, interviews with upcoming Octia presenters, we're talking to Sarah Worley James today. Welcome. Thank you. And Hello. thank you for joining us. Um, so, just asking you a few questions so we know a little bit about you. Um, how did you come to work online? Well, it's something that um, had been interesting me for a while as I was hearing more and more about it. Um, and then I came to join the service at Cardiff University five years ago and I thought well this is um, you know, the perfect organisation for which to um, start developing the online service as they didn't have one. So I had several conversations with my boss over a period of a couple of years so I kept putting the idea to him and, and plugging away um, and eventually the, the timing was right. Um, and very much that the main reasons that I thought online counselling would be so useful for the, the student client group is partly because of widening access. I was very conscious that there were was quite a, a large number of students who would be unable to access the face-to-face counselling. For example, those who are on placement. You know, for example, medical students have um, a large number of, of lectures. They are you know, working nine to five pretty much every day on placement, often away from Cardiff. And I realised that they really struggle to access the face-to-face counselling. We also have a number of students who study abroad for a period of their degree and that's actually something that nationally the um, UK government is wanting to increase the numbers of students having that opportunity. So again, I can see that's something that's important. Obvious issues such as mental health or physical health problems that make it difficult for someone to access the service and also obviously those with care and commitments. There are a growing number of mature students these days who are trying to juggle working part-time came from families or elderly relatives as well as studying. And another area that um, I became aware of working here was that um, international students often uh, struggle to feel comfortable accessing face-to-face service because of cultural reasons. They may not be comfortable or familiar with accessing mental health services. So there's actually quite a large number of students who I realised weren't able to access face-to-face counselling. The other big thing that I was very conscious of was that technology is growing, how we communicate is growing, so many different ways that we communicate now and of course the students are at an age where they've grown up with a lot of this technology, they're very comfortable and very familiar with communicating in, in a range of different ways and I thought actually we're missing something here, we're, we're missing communicating with them in ways that actually they would rather communicate with, so that's been quite exciting. <laughs> Great to hear. And where did you get your training to work online? Um, I did my training with Jane Evans at uh, Online Counselling Services and Training. It was a fascinating course. I thoroughly enjoyed it. As I suspect a lot of uh, counsellors new to online counselling experience, I had that question, how is, how is empathy going to be conveyed you know, effectively through written words alone and I, I was really curious about that um, and fascinated that as the course progressed of course I had um, simulated clients through email I also did simulated session as both client and counsellor with Jane through instant messaging and that was fascinating as I realised wow you know as a client I was like, wow I feel the empathy I feel she's understanding me mm. and also I realised that by Seeing my words, you know, in black and white on the screen, it was giving me different insights, different perspectives. So I found that really fascinating that it's perfectly possible to have that same degree of empathy and a connection with a client through words alone. <laughs> well, that already, I think, answers my next question a little oh. bit. What, what you like about working online? <laughs> um, yeah, very much. I, I have anybody who knows me knows I have a fascination with words, what they mean, um, the choice of words that we use to, uh, you know, convey our experiences, our feelings, and and how very often we don't pay attention to the words that we use and therefore the impact that they have on us. So I, I've always had that fascination. Um, so of course, being able to work online has just given me another outlet to really explore how we use words, the power of words, so that's something I find very exciting. Something else that I really enjoy about working online is the flexibility. It's so flexible in terms of, as I said, meeting the students need to aren't able to access face to face, but also being flexible within how we 
um, how we contact them. So I'm not being very clear. What I mean is, um, what I'm happy to do is move between media. Not just online media, but also switching between face to face and online. So, an example might be that we have a student who attends one or two sessions face to face. It's coming up to the summer break. They're going home to maybe another country or another part of the UK. They want to continue the counselling. So, we're able then to move to online counselling. The other way around, sometimes a client might be you know, away on placements, they start online, they come back into to Cardiff if they want to continue face to face or it may be that there are lots of anxiety and shame issues I mean they feel more comfortable engaging initially online and they may continue like that or they may then decide they want to come in face to face I thought of another example there um, about a client we had um, we'd uh, booked an email session so I was expecting the email to come in that morning the client emailed saying I've forgotten, completely forgotten our session. Could we have an instant messaging session mm -hmm. instead? So I said, yeah, sure. I've got a slot book, booked later in the day when I was going to reply to you. Not a problem. So we. So it's, I love having that oh, flexibility. I think that's really important. Well, thank you for telling us a little bit about yourself. And I'm looking forward to hearing much more in Bristol. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm looking forward to it myself. A little bit nervously, but <laughs> very much so. Thank you.